a very simple looking aircraft very elegant in and of itself the origins of the united states army air corps love the distinctive calling of a biplane called the thomas moore sculpt s4c as you can see it is from 2006 the third kit in that year and it's 133 scale i really love the cover and you have to remember this kit is almost 20 years old and it's very thin all right however the cover is thick it's nice the instructions of course is in polish with the history the technical specs here and just diving right into the model fuselage and you can see it's a pretty simple straightforward build i would highly recommend this a step up from your fiddler's green and your other basic kit you can see the stabilizer the rudder and that's the fin and you can also see the elevators and the stabilizer and you see those little horn the little linkage where you could do your cable run and those are the wing struts the details for the engine the engine cylinders and like i'm saying it's a pretty simple but really nice looking kit that can come from this i'm not going to lie i got nostalgic because this was one of the first kits i saw when i started to look on it and the thickness of the page it's almost scream this is a beginner's model however the cowling and the assembly of the prop blade that in and of itself is a nice thing i can see how they show how it's laminated it's layered and that would go on the center there and here you have the cowling now put this together very carefully and you will have a beautiful looking model just try to make sure you don't mess it up and that's where the calling will go on and there you have the wooden backing that's where the seat would go really nice touch nice layer and then i keep saying remember this is a 2006 kit the wheel hub and the basic layout for how you put it together you know a lazy afternoon you can finish this kit like in probably two three days you know just like a lazy afternoon get your sewing thread and so forth so you can do the rigging i love the rigging layout when you do models at this scale it's almost a sin not to do the rigging layout and you see the blue represents the rigging in the thread and the red is a wire work as you can see here and even the machine gun at the time you see the wire and it's a very simple cockpit if you look carefully here it's just a matter of simple seat Control column and rudder pedal. Nothing complicated. And here we have the wing layout. Of course, the single piece upper wing. And they even leave out arrows so that you can put the aileron on. Very nice. And you see the holes there. So when you're ready to do your rigging, this should not be complicated. And the lower wing those are the landing gear strut 
just in case you're confused and it takes the wiring there in the inside and the ailerons again here you see the basic rigging we're showing you how the rig is done so yeah that's it pretty much it's not a complicated kit and I think this is one of the reasons why I wanted to show it that oh man the Stomavik that would be nice to get it and that's where the correction was for that model right there just in case you're wondering well so that's it for the Thomas Morris S4C Scout a simple model one that I would suggest you get if you're trying for the first time it's a great one to begin with highly recommended so until then my friends one love